Hey guys, what's going on? It's Stowe here, and today I'm going to be doing a bit of a different video. So instead of going out in the field and showing you how to take pictures, I'm going to do a bit of an editing video. So I'm going to show you how I got from this image here into this, and let's get straight into it. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so first off, what I'm going to do is just reset everything back to the beginning to show you what the image was originally, and just work my way through exactly what I did to achieve this look. So first off, what I'm going to do is just increase the temperature. So I normally work down the panel and starting off with the temperature first off. So I like to increase the temperature a bit, make it more warmer. You get this nice orangey glow at when you get to a certain point. You don't want to go too far because then it gets a bit too over orange and too yellowy and you just want to stay at a nice golden hour look. So I normally stick around about 6,450. All depends on the light, on the actual situation, where you're, where you're shooting, what time you're shooting, how sunny it is. But for this image here, 6,450 uh, 6, sorry is sufficient so then we go down i leave the tint i don't really mess about with the tint at all that doesn't look nice either way you play about with it just leave it at the naturally what it is input it at so this is plus six going down to exposure so now as you can see for the histogram most of the information is in the middle which is obviously a good sign because that means the image is overall exposed correctly what i do like to tend to do though is just up the exposure just a little bit i like to make my images a little bit overexposed rather than underexposed to give that nice warmer look especially for this image because you get the sun and you just want like you know it's a bit more brighter contrast i always raise the contrast up a bit lately and this here what i did before this was raise it all the way up to uh, 58 for this it looks nice it makes the eyes pop a bit you can see like the details in the hair coming out a little bit more and so that looks great. So I'm just going to leave it at around about 58. A bit of rhyme in there as well. Um, <laughs> go down to the highlights. Now, it gives a nice studio white, um, harsh look on the forehead and the nose when you raise the highlights, which I really liked for this image. So I'm going to raise it all the way up to 90. And you can see the forehead has just gone from um, this like orangey, yellowy red to white which is really nice i don't know i really like it it makes you stand out it makes a nice contrast between the highest point lightest point sorry to the darkest points so that looks quite nice there so now we're going to go down to the shadows and what do i do normally do with the shadows is what i normally do with the shadows sorry is increase it a little bit for this image sorry if you lower the shadows you can see a bit more of a contrast if you higher it up a bit it reveals a bit more detail so it's whatever you prefer so on here i mean what i did was just increase it a little bit by 10 but I didn't really play about the shows that much. Now with the whites and blacks, this again is enforcing the difference between the highest points and the lowest points between the darks and the brights. So for the whites, I like to push it up a little bit by about 15, not a lot, but by 15. And then bring the decks, bring the blacks down by 15. And that once again gives a bit more of a pop in between the white and the darkest points. The light and the darkest points because you can see a little bit more of a definition just by the, having that bit of a difference. Clarity, boost up a little bit, so I'm going to boost that all the way up to 38. Once again, let's bring a bit more definition to the image. You don't want to go too high up, or as it looks really like too much clarity, it just looks horrible. So you want to find a nice in-between, so I'm just going to bring it up to about 38 on this image here. So then, one thing that now this image is lacking, like it looks a lot nicer, so if I press the backslash key, you can see before it's very flat, there's not really much going on, it just feels a bit boring but now with these playing about with the lights and the darks it's now popping a bit more it's more in your face it looks a bit nicer so then we're gonna go a bit more down and play about with the coloring at the moment because the coloring is very off it doesn't look very nice it doesn't really pop out or stick out it's got a bit of yellow in there but it's very diluted so we want to make that yellow stand out right now so what we're going to do is up the vibrancy and what i did for the vibrancy was plus 58 on that um and that just really Brings about the yellow tones, not not massively, but we're getting to that when we go down to the hue and saturation tool in a second. Now for the tones, I like to bring up the, the blacks up a little bit, not a lot, but a tiny bit. So I just keep playing about with them. And with the tone curve, it literally, you could spend it days, it's like literally seeing what looks best and what doesn't. But for this image, I've raised it up a little bit, just a tiny bit there, and I've made a couple of points. And that's fine by that, I feel that it looks good. So now we're gonna go down to the saturation tool, and we're gonna play about the yellows and bring that up a little bit. Once again, carry on with the um, yellowy tone. We want to make it nice orangey glow to make that sun effect look really nice and beautiful 
And for this, we're going to bring it to about plus 35. Yeah, plus 35 would do. And also the oranges, we're going to bring them up. Not too much of the yellows because like it goes a bit too orangey. Do you see that there? So we're going to bring it up a little bit, but not as much. So about around about 15, 15 will do. So now we go down to the sharpening tool. And what's really nice about the fact that I shot this at 160 ISO right there, you can see that 160 means that you can raise the sharpening all the way to full 150. But I'm not going to go to 150. But if you zoom in, you can see that like there's no detail loss at all. You can still see clearly absolutely everything. Like you don't get any grain. It's very sharp. It's very nice. That's what's the benefits of shooting at a lower ISO is that. But um, we're not going to 100, 150. We're going to go to 130, and that makes it a lot more a lot more sharper the whole image and just brings it out. And look at that detail. It looks lovely like that, like there. The only other couple of things that we're going to do now is just play about with these eyes, make these pop a bit more because they are the main focus of the image. That's what like when you look at this image you look at the eyes straight away like that's what you get drawn to and we're just going to make them really 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 stand out right now so we're going to go back up to the brush tool zoom in a little bit so you can see both eyes now let's grab the brush tool and just color it in and i have a little bit of a preset already pre-selected um, because every time i go on the brush tool i use these same settings almost 99 percent of the time so what i do is raise the exposure a little bit you don't want to go too high but 0.18 is fine we want to make the um, eyes a little more brighter than everything else not too much brighter because then they don't don't look natural but a little bit brighter so you know that the focus and they stick out a bit more clarity we're going to bring that up a little bit i mean forward at 25 but we can even bring it up a bit more just to make it really 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 pop especially there's the fact that we've already got quite a high clarity throughout the whole image so you want the eyes to be even more more in your face and then we're going to go down to saturation it's already preset to minus 11 so basically before uh, if we was at normal or if we go up we if we increase the saturation you'll see that it doesn't really do anything to the image like the the, the color of the eyes don't really change much all it does is make the whites less white so that's why i like like to decrease it by 11 because then you can still see the whites just um, natural basically and it makes it look like as natural as possible we don't want to make it overly exposed so we're gonna go down and increase the sharpness now to 58 which is already preset and that once again just makes the, uh, the eyes a little bit more sharper now I think this uh, image looks really nice as it is right now but there's only a couple more little things that you can do which is just getting rid of little bits of like you can see on the skin a little bit of mascara is there so you can just quickly go on the spot remove tool and just dab you see there's another little bit there dab and then a tiny little like you can use but it's all nicky picky little bits like really i don't like to do a lot of retouching on my images but um this image here like looks great as it is if you come back out you can see this image here and i think it looks really nice to be honest i think from the before which looks like that which is a lot more flat to what it is now is really 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 nice so that's my video guys thanks very much for watching i'll see you in the next one thanks bye